Hello YouTube, this is Furious Maximum, and this is my 17th example of Fallout 4 Virtual Settlement Tourism. Today we're looking at Kingsport Lighthouse, which in my fiction is controlled by the Minutemen. We'll start with a run around the perimeter. The perimeter wall is made up mostly of improvised wooden walls, but they're heavily fortified by Mark 7 turrets as well as missile launcher turrets along the northern wall that faces a compound used by hostile radiation cultists. Next, we'll check out the shoreline and piers set up here. Here's a close-up of a Mark 7 turret guarding the shoreline's northern path. Under the pier's upper level is where some of the cargo is unloaded to help keep it out of some of the rain, near our platform used to access the water purifier slash desalinizer. Next, we'll look at the boat the Minutemen here use to transport food and other cargo from other coastal settlements, like the castle and the Adam Katz garage, among others. Next, we'll look at a shabby shack used for the boat's crew to rest between trips. Hey, an important a storm, right? It's also guarded by a Mark 7 turret along the shoreline's southern path. This latrine on the pier's upper level by the small restaurant is well used. Drop that dookie. And now we'll take a look at said small restaurant fish dish, which makes up the pier's upper level, staffed inside by barkeep Kenzie, Chef Judah, and Fisherman Matthias. Throughout this tour, you might have noticed different textures, furniture, and settlers with names. These things were done with mods, and at the end of the tour, at about 12 minutes and 20 seconds, I'll scroll through the list of mods I used slowly so you can see what they are Thanks and who made out. them. My channel also has videos dedicated to some mods to further inform you. You showed up just in the nick of time. In my fiction, this settlement doesn't have as large of a residential presence as County you. Crossing, Green Top, or Egret. So some of the vendors are traveling pushcart vendors. You showed up just in the nick of time.
Our entrance checkpoint guards, Brooke and Griffin, also have other duties, like radio communication or reloading the turrets with ammo, but they're under parasols, so they have some shade or conduct some rain. They also have a nearby outhouse in case. Drop that dookie. Thanks for your help, pal. This is one of the original vanilla buildings here, and as you can see, I converted the lower floor kitchen into a makeshift med bay. And thanks to the personal proclivities of the Minuteman General exploring old vaults, many Minuteman staff use vault suits. The upstairs, as you'll soon see, is used by residents. After this, we'll look at another residential building Rack 2, featuring full carpeting and full bathroom with a working shower. Luxuries in the Commonwealth Wasteland. You showed up just in the nick of time. Here are some custom melee weapons for sale. A sledgehammer and pipe wrench called 
Beef Supreme and Barf. And in the back are the guns. A pipe revolver for gunslingers on a budget, an impressive 50 cal rifle with a high capacity magazine, and an alien weapon which in my fiction nobody knows how Will the Weaponeer got this thing or why he would sell it. Whatever the story is, Will's not talking. To finish off the tour is the lighthouse itself, which doesn't have too much in it, it's drafty, the stairways and catwalks don't have too much space, and it's mostly used as a sniper nest or a mount for anti-aircraft missile launchers. Still, as we look out on the settlement, I hope this tour was somewhat inspiring and relaxing or at least as relaxing as the Commonwealth Wasteland can be anyway. Thank you very much. Thank you for viewing.